Hey everybody, Ron Burke, Editor-in-Chief for GamingTrend.com. Today we're going to unbox and check out the Western Digital Black SN850X, one of the very few PlayStation 5 certified PCIe Gen 4 NVMEs, and also a smoking fast drive for any modern gaming PC. So without further ado, let's unbox this thing, get a closer look at it, benchmark it, and see how it does. Now, if you've watched this channel for a while, you know that one of my favorite topics is warranties. I have a deep appreciation for companies who stand behind their products. Now, hard drives can be all over the place. I've seen 90-day warranties, I've seen one-year warranties, and three-year warranties. Well, I'm happy to report that Western Digital stands behind their products with a five-year warranty. All Western Digital drives, including the Western Digital SN850X, carries with it a five-year warranty, so you know that what you put on this drive is going to stay there until you pull it off. If you watch this channel for a while, you'll also know that I'm not big on synthetic tests. Nobody gets their friends together to play synthetic test. I run Gaming Trend. Gaming. So we're going to throw gaming results up here and also in our written review at GamingTrend.com. So jump over there and you'll see more results, but I'll throw them up here while I talk about other things. Well, yeah, we are going to do some synthetic work. After all, I do have to verify what it says in the back of the box. The SN850X is rated for 7,000 mags read, 5,300 mags write, and 1.2 million for IOPS. That makes it pretty respectable. That puts it kind of at the top of the pack. So I want to verify. So I load up Atto and I load up the Western Digital Utility. I've already verified that that doesn't actually impact the, uh, the tests in any meaningful way. And I start running my tests. The results, as I don't know, I'll figure out where I'm gonna put it at some point, were pretty consistent. Anything over 128K, we started to see very consistent read and write speeds. The read speeds were around let's call it 6,500, uh, we even had some all the way up to 6,900, pretty close to that 7,000 mark. And then the write speeds were actually a little bit low. We saw those around the 3,500, we saw as high as 4,300, but not quite the 5,300 that was promised. The IOPS were around a million to 1.2, so we're gonna call that well within spec. Now, you'd think that I was done, because I'm getting pretty consistent speeds, if, if maybe just a little bit low on write but I want it to be consistent. I want the drive to perform the same way every time. So reboot, test, reboot, test, reboot, test, verify with multiple tools. That's when I found something interesting. When I reran the tests, what I found was I was getting still very consistent read speeds between 6,500 and 6,900 megs per second, but suddenly the write speed had taken a huge increase. I was seeing 6.2 gigs, 6.5 gigs, 6.25, up and down in that range, but never any lower than 6,250 megs per second. Now this drive is rated for 5,300. So suddenly I'm getting drastically higher results. I ran the test dozens of times. I tried multiple programs, reboots in between, every trick I could find to try and disprove that my drive had suddenly developed a mind of its own. But here we are. Now I don't believe in the silicon lottery. I think that that's way overblown and I think people put a lot more stock into it than they should. But I don't know, man. I may have to suddenly believe in it because I think I just won. This drive is consistently giving me well over a gig of extra write, uh, extra write speed that I'm paying for. That's awesome. Now obviously you might not hit the silicon lottery like I did, but even at stock speeds, the SN850X is really delivering. I looked at other similar drives from competitors like Adata, and what I found was even at the same capacities and using the same NANDs, this drive is delivering faster speeds and it's doing so at a lower price. The same drive coming from other companies, between 40, 50, and $60 cheaper coming from Western Digital. So better performance at a lower price. The SN750 was a solid drive, but this one, this one's the one to get. You can put this in your PlayStation 5, or you can put it in your PC, but either way, you can't go wrong. I'm Ron Burke, Editor-in-Chief for GamingTrend.com. Thanks for joining me. I hope you learned something. Let us know in the comments if you've got similar results. Maybe you hit the Silicon Lottery like I did. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you again very soon.